to my channel. It is Halloween. I've got my Halloween shirt on. It's got um, it's got stripes on it. But it is cold outside. It's like 36 degrees. It's the first time it's really been this cold at nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm on my way to pick up Derek from the car dealership. He took his car to um, get a little bit of work done on it. So I am gonna drive over there and pick him up and hopefully we're gonna get some breakfast and some Starbucks. So come along with me for the weekend and I'll show you what I'm doing this weekend. Hey guys, so um, after I picked up Derek from the car place, um, we actually had some Chick-fil-A breakfast because Chick-fil-A breakfast is the bomb. And then um, we went to the home, at home is what it's called. It's a just like a TJ Maxx-ish style box store. Um, and I really don't feel comfortable yet vlogging in public like that. But we did, um, I did take one clip, which I will insert right here. <laughs> Also, we bought a couple of things. We bought a couple of little gnomes. That's one of them up there. And then I got two of these little gnomes. Um, they have little pom-poms on them. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then they just have a little cute face. Um, so yeah, these are actually a hot commodity. Some lady was buying like 10 of them and I found two somewhere else because she had bought like all of them. So I found two and um, picked those up. Um, and now I don't feel like it, but I'm gonna go for a run. And since it's Halloween, I have my sugar skull skirt on and I'm gonna go out to the woods and go for a run. So I will check in when I get there. All right, so here I am ready to start my run. I'm just waiting for my watch to pick up GPS and I'm gonna get going. All right, so I just passed mile one and I've been wearing this for a long time because it is crowded on the trail. So, ugh. what's your math strategy when you run? Leave it below in the comments. So I just hit mile two, still feeling good, but I'm having a little bit of a hip pain. So I'm worried about my half next weekend, but we'll see how it goes. I'll check back in. So I just hit mile three and Thriller started playing on my headphones. It's appropriate for Halloween. Um, still feeling all right. Trying to push it a little bit. So I'm pretty out of breath, but I'm over halfway done. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, sorry about my hand. Um, so I just hit four miles and now my fifth mile has always been meant to be a cool down mile, but it is a mental struggle in here to make myself slow down at the run walk ratio. I'm sorry, this is so like at the run walk ratio that I'm going, or if I should just keep go 30 30. Um, right now I'm 5 30, and uh, whoo, it is hard, but I'm flying here, so I just pause my watch. I know that's cheating, but whatever. So, I don't know, um, we'll see. But I only have one more mile to go. Yes. Does anybody have a spot where they run, where they're like, man, I get to run here. I'm so lucky. This is my spot. All right, I'm done with five miles. Um, the last half mile, I um, switched to 30-30 intervals because I, was running way too fast so I slowed it down a good minute per mile um, on my last mile so I'm all done with five and um, my last longish workout before my half next weekend I say that but sometimes I accidentally run five miles in the middle of the week um, but here is what really confuses me um, like I ran two and a half miles out turned around and came back. And when I got to the place that I started, I still had a quarter mile left. Does that happen to anybody else or is it just me? 
because I am totally sure that Strava is also going to tell me either I ran ridiculously fast and like way more miles than I actually ran or it's going to tell me that I ran like 0.8 because it does that a lot especially when I run here so we'll see what Strava says and uh, I'm gonna go meet Derek. Um, he took the dog for a walk, so I'm gonna go meet him. And we're gonna go home, feed the dog, and then run some errands. So I ran 5.12 miles in an hour and two minutes at a 12 minute and 10 second pace. Pretty good. I am happy with this. So um, we got home and dropped off the dog and got him his food. I cleaned up and dropped Derek off at the dealership where he was getting his car fixed. And now I am headed to Target so I can return a couple of things. I bought a pair of pants um, about a week and a half ago that were too small. So when I was at Target the other night, I decided to buy one size bigger because they were barely too small. And when I got home, they did not fit. <laughs> they were still too small. So I'm gonna take both of the pants back and um, the shirt that I bought because it is way ugly. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some dinner and hopefully get four we get some trick-or-treaters so yeah um it's been a good day so far um probably gonna watch some halloween movies and chill out because derek has a 50k race tomorrow so i am flying solo um tomorrow so we are at target and um i returned my pants and they were doing um, a $5 gift card if you get a flu shot. So Derek and I got our flu shots today, finally. Um, we were putting it off because of his race, but we did it anyway. So, yep, we have our flu shots. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's November 1st, and I am currently on my way to go and meet my sister for coffee, and I've got her... Um, her birthday present that is like a month overdue from when we went to Walt Disney World at the beginning of October. Um, her birthday was at the end of September, so a little bit late, but uh, with us trying to sort of stay away from everybody for 14 days after we got back and then just life in general took over. So I am heading to meet up with her and coffee and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and pick up some groceries for me and Derek for the week and groceries for my parents. And with it being November 1st and there being only 60 days left of this hellacious, crap shoot of 2020, I have decided that I am going to challenge myself to do better for the rest of the year. What that means is I'm going to focus on core work and I'm going to focus on getting my nutrition dialed in. I feel like I need to work on my core for running, um, especially since I was having some hip pain yesterday in my run. I just want to go ahead and strengthen my glutes and my core. If anybody wants to join me, I know that this will come out a couple of days after November 1st, but if you want to join me, leave me a comment down below on Instagram and I'll post a weekly update um, on my YouTube channel of how it's going. So I met up with my sister and um, we got some coffee and then we ended up coming to um, this cute little park here where the leaves are out and it is definitely fall. So it's a really nice day too. It's like almost 60 degrees. Um, so it's just like a little bit chilly and um, a little overcast and it's definitely feeling a lot like fall. So we're gonna finish up our coffee and our chat and then I'm going to head over to Trader Joe's. My first vlog rendition of things seen on my walk. Best political sign I've ever seen. <laughs> I just finished 
my shopping haul at Trader we'll Joe. Drop off the Trader Joe's to my parents, and then I will show you what I got at Trader Joe's when I get home. Because I know y'all are curious. Because I would be. I am now home, and um, as promised, I'm going to show you my small Trader Joe's haul. So let's get to it. First off, I got pumpkin bagels because like honestly, best time of year is pumpkin season. So some pumpkin bagels. Um, those will be good for next weekend when um, I go run my half marathon. I'll have one of those before I run. Then I got some fresh cut mangoes. Um, I've been on an elimination diet, so I'm adding in mangoes this week. I'm supposed to add in asparagus, but apparently Trader Joe's doesn't have asparagus. So I'll have to try to get some somewhere else. Next off, I got sweet potatoes. Um, I got three of them for a chili recipe that I want to make. I also got some chili lime seasoning because um, I like to use this as some of the seasoning and then I'll use some taco sauce that I have in the refrigerator left over just to get rid of that. I also got some Italian four cheese tortellini for one day this week. Um, it's just easy. Two to three minutes. So just boil some water and then two to three minutes and it's dry tomato chicken sausage, which is one of my favorites. I love the Trader Joe's chicken sausages. Um, and then I got roasted turkey breast for sandwiches. I've had some cheese. Um, I realized I, they didn't have any bread that I thought looked good at Trader Joe's, so I'll have to go out and get some and bread. I got some lentils for my chili. They are the already steamed lentils. I just find these to be like easier. I have some dried lentils at home, but I just, you know, to drop these in, um, I also like to put these on salads and things like that. So these are pretty good. And then last but not least, um, I got milk because Derek was out of milk. So that's what I got at Trader Joe's. Um, it's not a big haul, but we don't really need a lot of stuff. And Trader Joe's doesn't really have like any of the staples that we need. So um, I'll go and do another grocery shopping trip um, sometime this week. So that was what I got at Trader Joe's. Derek just got back from picking up our dinner and we are going to eat dinner and watch April Lauren. But if you like this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe and ring the notification bell and you will be notified of further uploads. Remember YouTube, keep moving.